Right, this is my .22 rim fire bolt action um, gun dog trainer or dummy launcher in pieces. I've had to buy a new um, spring for the bolt action because the one that I had in there um, was weak and gradually I stopped working on the actual cartridges. I went on eBay and bought um, 10 springs um, and I got the right length, well they're about um, like five coils too long so I can actually um, cut those down and um, the right diameter but I bought um, 1.5 millimeter um, diameter spring wire uh, whereas I should have bought one millimeter diameter or maybe a bit below that. So in this video I'm going to show you a very quick and easy method you can use to actually um, reduce the um, strength of a spring and make it weaker until you get it to the um, right strength uh, for the application that you're using it on. And this is one that I modified earlier which works perfectly now in the actual um, launcher. So I need to cut this one down to the right length reset the end and then I'll show you this uh, very easy method to actually um, use on this to actually weaken the spring. So I've got a good set of wire cutters um, and from the end uh, cut off each uh, coil until it's the right length. And obviously make sure you wear safety goggles when you're doing that. And you'll notice there that I've left it one coil longer and that's for um, heating up and resetting so it's square on the end again. So I have a block of steel here or you can use the um, side of a vice or whatever and just use an ordinary propane torch like this one. and just heat the last coil until it's bright red and then just push that onto the block and that resets the end nice and square. So next I get a brass rod which is the right diameter to fit inside the spring and the spring can spin freely on that. I have a couple of brass tubes which have been deburred on the end so that it won't catch on the end of the spring and one goes on that side and the other on the other side so I can actually hold that and use my bench grinder to very accurately grind that um, diameter down until I weaken the spring um, to the correct power for the actual launcher so before I start I make sure the um, wheel is nice and flat if it's not I use a diamond dresser like this one here and that um, squares up the ends nicely and makes it nice and flat and then I'm gonna grind this uh, backwards and forwards on the wheel allowing the spring to spin as I do so
and you can actually um, slow the spin of the spring by putting a bit of tension on the um, tubes on either side of the spring and like I said it's um, very surprising how accurate you can actually grind a spring like this I can get um, all the coils within a thou or two And when you're grinding a spring like this on the grinding wheel or the um, buffing wheel it's very important that you don't get it too hot otherwise it'll alter the temper of the steel so next i'm going to buff it up on the buffing wheel so on the buffing wheel i use a sateen compound it's 180 grit you can get this on ebay um, it's the best compound I've ever used on a, a buffing wheel because it's greaseless, it's water-based and um, like I said a block like this will last a long time and um, if you're ever doing uh, like soldering on copper or brass you can actually um, clean up the brass on the buffing wheel with this and because it's greaseless you can go straight into soldering without having to clean it any further. And I'll put a link below where you can actually buy this one. If you do buy it, keep it in an airtight um, container after use. And um, don't let it um, be put in hot sun or else it'll melt. And that's taken all the sharp corners off and given a lovely mirror finish like new. Right, the spring's finished now and ready to go back into the launcher. And I've tested this one and I know it works perfectly. The original spring was um, 0.395 thou in diameter. And the ground one is... 0.355 thou in diameter so I've taken um, 40 thou off overall and um, that will give me a better indication in the future of the actual um, thickness of wire I need to choose for this spring if I was to buy one again but using this simple method has saved me from actually having to buy any at the moment so that's the spring oiled up and back into the uh, launcher um, bolt action mechanism and it works perfectly just the right pull and also it works perfectly on the cartridge gives a nice um, indent on the rim fire and fires every time so I'm very pleased with that
And as soon as we get some nice weather, uh, when it brightens up a bit, it's very cold and damp at the moment. You probably see my breath in the um, videos here. Um, I hope to show this one in action in the field, firing the um, dummies for the dogs and also the new rockets that I've made.